All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 720. I'm your host, GPD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who's live from GDC. GDC is back, ladies and gentlemen, Wombat. It looks a lot like my usual space but, where I do the show, but I'm actually in, where is it, Germany? No, GDC is in San Francisco. Oh, in San Francisco. What's the one you that's in Germany? You should know where you are. It's really weird that you don't know where you are. That's I have no game, idea. Gamescom. Games, oh, Gamescom. Thank you. They're all the same to me. Right. You're just using the Zoom background of your living room while you're in that, your hotel in San Francisco. It. Can you smell the pee? I can. And how are you doing tonight, Nufraj? What does that mean? That's uh, French for shipwreck. He's in his, he's in oh, his room, amazing. though. Mm-hmm. Are you thinking that he's learned French and so because he's going to France? He's going to France. So I figured that we should get him used to it by using French as much as often as possible. Bonjour, Nafraj. Mm-hmm. Problem is, if you learn a few things well, then the people will think you speak French and then you're not going to know what they're saying. And then it's too, it's all fucked up. It's better just to I, pretend you know I nothing. Can under, I can understand it pretty well if people aren't using words like shipwreck. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a... I, I can't have conversations in, in French. You're not a Francophile? Uh, no. This is shipwreck. She you was know, the one getting on the phone call, like phone and like booking stuff and like having conversations with, with people. Nice. She's, did you, uh, did you both take French? Practicing. Did you take, both take French in high school? Yeah. I, my, my mom was a French teacher. So oh, nice. I, I had her for four, four years in high school as my French teacher. Oh. Uh, and then Mrs. Shipwreck took it, I think, for like three years in college as well. Mm. So she, she knows. C'est c'est bon. Right. You know how I know that from the um, that cheese commercial, this, this cheese sticks commercials from the 80s. What was that? Mozzarella. Palio? Palio? Yeah, Palio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Give like. Give me a pizza with nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> What is it? It's a uh, voulez-vous coucher avec toi ce soir? Avec moi. Yeah. Even I. Uh, no. I th- no. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, just, uh, yeah, that's that's what you want to bust out over there. I don't know. We'll, Creole we'll lady do, marmalade. That sounds today. good. <laughs> we'll be at Disney for two days, so that the the English speakers will be abundant inside of Disney. Um, oh. And I don't know. We're we're tourists, so right. I'm no only one's... gonna be there a week. Like, uh, if they're upset that I don't speak the language, I'm gonna get over it. <laughs> <laughs> so. that, that only happens in in Canada, in like Montreal. They get upset if you don't speak French. I think in, in France you they don't ever, care. Ever read the second bullet point from the ad? Read in. Oh, I'll that. get to that in the main ad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just just wanted to make sure that you. Yeah, got nah, it's fine. It doesn't need to be up top. It's fine. They'll, they'll survive. But thank you. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> yep. Uh-oh. It's fine. We'll get to it. You think it's fine? But we'll find These out. People are, are animals. I know. They'll, they smell blood. <laughs> they go crazy. Free ad. Free ad. Free ad. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What else How's is going every- on? Uh, I was really sick for like the last four days. What? Yeah, from Friday through Monday, I was like, I had like it was just a cold, but how do you know? You know, it's it's the first bad cold. I we we all tested. Oh uh, yeah, uh, it was. Did me you and use Elliot the Joe Biden the tests? Time. Yeah, we used our Joe Biden tests. Wow, and the system works. Yeah, they were just really nasty colds, mm-hmm. and it, they sucked. But I'm fine now, and that's kind of it. That's good. Yeah, but it was you know it was one of those weekends where I had a billion things to do. So it was like cold be damned. Right. Um, Got to do all this other stuff. So much <clears throat> Fortnite to play. So much Fortnite. We'll get to that too. So much Fortnite. I had to go see Moana performed by a middle school. Right. Middle school Moana. That's always exciting. Well, did you have to or did you get to? What was the proper <laughs> way to say that? I mean. Blessed. Yeah. Let's say I saw it. <laughs> that's That's. <laughs> Those middle school they actually, productions. They did a are good a job. Rough. I've seen a lot of crappy musicals in my time. That one, they actually did a good job. I were they, were did they you masked? Only applaud for the ones that, deter- no. that deserved it, or did you applaud for all of them? I applauded for uh, those who deserved it. I know when you applauded. Would also, be all of them. I know when huh? you applauded the loudest. 
Well, but you I thought isn't that the same as a participation trophy? What? If you're of, if you're applying for all of the actors and No, in because play? you still have to get in it. First of all, like you, it's still not like they just... a, you still have to get in a, a sports uniform as well. Well, no, I mean, like you still have to audition <laughs> to get a part. They don't just you still have to try it. out for a sports team. I know. And then you get on the team. <laughs> and then if you're on the winning team, you get a trophy. Everyone on the in the musical won the musical. But to get on the team, all you really needed was a check from your parents that, that cleared. No, 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 no. Oh, you, I'm, you're talking about the sports. I'm not yeah. like, the musical you had to try out and you either were in it or you were stage crew. Right. And so if you're stage crew, crew they stage don't... crew, they, you know, they, they only get one. They, they only clap for stage crew once out of three performances. Meanwhile, people they only get to go on stage once. If people don't follow you guys on Twitter, they wouldn't understand why Shipwreck just brought that up out of nowhere. I No, I think it's 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 out there in, in the zeitgeist right now. It is. Of, of, yeah, it's the same argument as all. It's it's really it got brought back, I guess, from some super lame Jeff Foxworthy. Like, <laughs> hey, you didn't that, watch that special. It could be full of great jokes. I'm gonna go out on a limb. You know, there's part of me that does want to watch it though. Because so you we'll watch see, everything, you might as well just add it to the I list. I did watch the new Taylor Tomlinson stand-up special, but that's different. I don't even know who that is. She's funny. You'd like it. It's also on Netflix. Mm. Jeff Foxworthy was funny in his time. He was. He had his moment. They all do. We all mm-hmm. do. Mm-hmm. Get her done. Get her done. That's not That's, 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 that's not not different. Him. That's Larry the Cable Guy. I know. I know. Uh, I, I, yeah. That, that would make a great t-shirt, though. I'm sure that's out there, Cheapy. Just a Jeff mm-hmm. Foxworthy head saying get He's her done. He's the one that does the show. Mexican jalapeno puppet, right? That's him as well. That's also him, right? Yeah. Also him. <laughs> If I wear if I wear the hypothetical Jeff Jeff Foxworthy shirt with a getter done on the bottom, and I am in like Ohio at a diner, is that like someone gonna fight me? That would be the best shirt. A picture of Jeff. Or Foxworthy people would think that underneath. that's funny, or they want to fight. I don't. It's kind of like the. <laughs> Shrek's thinking. Shrek's thinking. Shrek's thinking. It was a good question. <laughs> It's well, first like of all, the, we, we don't have yeah. diners. That's the first problem okay. with this hypothetical. At my, at my uh, fucking disgusting chili place? What's that called? Chili parlors. Chili <laughs> parlors. Okay, <laughs> is that really what they're called? Chili parlors? Yeah. If I was that Cracker Barrel, good, good call, Wombat. If I was that yeah. Cracker Barrel, like I'm waiting for my table at the front, right? And I got my Jeff Foxworthy Get Her Done you shirt. Don't, you don't simply wait for a table. Oh, what the happens cracker, there? You, you you experience the shop within. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm looking at the sausages shopping. and the cheeses. Yeah. No, no, no. You've never oh. been in a Cracker Barrel. I did in the 80s when they had the cheeses and sausages. What do they got in there now? Like Funko it's, Pops? It's like a mall. Yeah, they got Funko Pops in <laughs> <They> there. <do. laughs> yeah. You, there's like a toy section. There, There's old-timey candy section. There's Here's your... Your Christian country music, yeah, they music don't, section. I don't know if those exist anymore in the north. Do they? Uh, there, I don't think so. One of them exists. About um, that's like the I would just say that's like the seventh closest <laughs> restaurant to my house. So what happens if I'm there and I'm wearing that shirt at the one close to your house? Well, first of all, you're having a great time like playing checkers <laughs> in a rocking chair on the on the porch. Fine, I, I'll I'll I I'll believe that. I believe it. But what would the response um, of the other guests at the restaurant be? They'd probably think it was funny, but maybe they wouldn't get the joke. I think they would get the joke. <laughs> I think that's a pretty funny shirt. Yeah. It's like that meme of John Luke Picard where it says, use the force, Luke, in the, you know, on Right, or, right. Yeah, it's, it it's not it. a new joke, sure. but it's, it's, it's still funny. Neither are funny. Jeff If I was going to say that you guy's got shirt me. is wrong. You got it. You won. You won the day. Look at that guy wearing that wrong come, shirt. Come to Ohio. We'll, we'll go to a Cracker Barrel. Let's see you'll what be, happens. I can make that whelmed. shirt up. I can make you can make anything now, like on the internet, and just have it come to your house. Oh, what happened? I hit my microphone when I was going to grab my water. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Everything's good. <laughs> is it hot? Is the microphone hot? Like you burn yourself? All right. How about some show feedback as you chug a bottle of water? Sure, give me one sec. Uh, let's see. Zephos had to say Where this we keep game... the trash. It's yeah. just behind behind Did he just throw it? Did he just throw that? Just throw it over his shoulder. That's where we keep the trash in the Wombat household. <laughs> Shana fan's gonna enjoy that. 
No, clip that, John Van. It's supposed to be funny. Somebody it's clip supposed... that. <laughs> That's the joke. Anyway, um, Zephos had to say, in the Iron Chef Japan dub, the exclamation you are hearing, this is in regards to Iron Chef, because there's a phrase <laughs> my wife and I use around the house when we want to get our attention. In the Iron Chef Japanese dub, the exclamation you're hearing is the floor reporter Shinshiro Ota saying Hukai-san in order to get the attention. Say it again Kenji. one more time. Say how you Huka- hear it. Think about how you hear it and mispronounce it when you say it and now read it. It's, is it Fuki? You're getting much closer now. You've removed all the saliva. Fuki-san. Fukui-san. Close, much closer, much closer. Fukui-san. Good, good job. Okay. In order to get the attention of Kenji Fukui, one of the hosts. Nailed it. Okay. And Cantaloupe went a little further, and he pulled this up from Urban De- Dictionary, because I'm not the only person who hears this. The friendly announcer, Fukui-san, is often called upon by the floor reporter, Ota, in a very high-pitched, hurried, and exciting voice, sounding more like squeeze on which is what my wife and I still say around the house when trying to get each other's attention. Squeeze on. We go, squeeze on. Right. And it's a funny thing. Nice. And I, we can't be the, obviously, we're not the only squeeze people on. who say squeeze on when trying to get someone's attention. So have you told Mrs. Wombat like the, where this all comes from? Have you filled her in? No, I don't think she cares. You haven't enlightened we, her? No, we, no not mm. even a little. Mm. But, mm-hmm. I know. What can you do? You can no longer eat at the Iron Chef. And by the way, there were only three. Down. Is that a place? There were there were only three comments on this week's show on the show thread on the website, and two of the three were in regards to the squeeze on controversy. Iron Chef is and, a popular show. It was at least. Yeah, is, it was. It's not anymore. It's, it's a not car a, they wash don't, now. Here. <laughs> is it called Iron Chef? That'd be weird. Uh, no, I think Iron I, Chief. It's in the process of getting converted from an Iron Chef to a to a car wash. Right. We never had those restaurants around here, the Iron Chef restaurant. But I don't think they really. I mean, what's an Iron you know, Chef have, restaurant? That, that was a real thing. You know, it's a it's a chain restaurant. Yeah. Based yeah. on the TV show. I think so. No, I think so. No, what? I never even heard of that. How could that be? A, how could that be true? It's like you know, it's like we get Nobu, which is a restaurant that has an Iron Chef as the chef. They get restaurants called Iron Chef. Iron Chef, the chef chain restaurant. Some guy. <laughs> Iron Chef chain restaurant. No, no, no. There is no such thing. I don't see anything coming out about that. Really? Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think there definitely is. Yeah, it's a thing. No, I'm just. But I, all I see is like you know Nobu and um, yeah. you know well Mori, Morimoto is not a Nobu anymore for a long time. No, but no, yes, no. Yes. Um, but I see like yeah those guys restaurants. I don't see like some shitty place. <laughs> what kind of food did they have there? Uh, I'm on their website right now. It's a okay. terrible website. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, maybe I don't know. Oh. It's the Iron Chef Grill. It's a Japanese steakhouse and sushi bar with regular and tapanyaki tables. Tapanyaki plus. Plus tapenyaki. <laughs> uh, plus squeeze on. Squeeze on. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Hibachi steak. Nice. I don't think this has anything to do with the Iron Chef TV show. I think they have stolen the name and are just counting on no legal action. They may. They so far so good. They, they, well, not anymore. They, they succeeded for a long time with no legal action. Uh, now, like I said, car right. wash incoming. Right. Or maybe right. there was right legal next action. To like, right. right next to like two other car washes too. Mm. Like this is going to be car in wash the, central in the car wash district. Uh, it's it is in the auto mall district. So I'm guessing that all of the auto mall traffic is just constantly in car wash mode. So. This all checks. They don't yeah. people. You know, I think like people see a line at the car wash. They're just like, ah, fuck it. Who cares if I have a dirty car? But if there's no line, maybe they pull in. That's what I do. So maybe that's the thinking there, or maybe they're laundering money. Lenny Dykstra says it's the best business. What, car wash. washes? Yeah, like mm-hmm. he's, you know, he's a good financial advisor. But because mm-hmm. people, well, there's no way to really replace that, right? Like everything else, and like now you can download movies and all shit like that, but you can't download yeah, a car wash. You can't, you can't buy a bucket and a bottle of soap. Well, it's work. It's, you know, you're paying for labor. Like you can't replace the labor easily, right? Like Yeah, you can. It's called having children. Good luck. My sure, kids I, love to watch the cars. Sure. Send them to my house. Okay. Drop them off. 
Just I hear saying. them. It's Are like they washing the cars thing. right now? I think I hear them. They, yeah, Elliot's playing Fortnite, so. Yeah. If well, you hear them, let me know. I'll tell them to shut up. I hear them. Uh, I just told you I heard them. How would I know? That... <laughs> oh, I just heard him too. Is he winning? Anyway. I don't hear him at all. You guys are gaslighting me. Stop well, no, it. no. He's only shouting sporadically, as one would do in that situation. Mm-hmm. All right, what else we have in show feedback? Uh, I like Tuna has to say <laughs> that Wombat looks pretty cuddly, to which I have to agree. I think he just I made that name. Cuddly. They just made that name so you would say, I like Tuna. Like tuna. Because uh-huh. it's funny. It is a funny name. Somebody it's else funny make name. a funny name and put a question in next week. Mm-hmm. Make okay. Wombat say, like, I like smelly ass. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah. I hear Elliot. Oh, now I hear him again. Yep. Quiet down in there. Too bad you don't have a Go XLR. Mm, oh, no, we hear him. I just, I just gave him you the, the. You took the care business. of it. That doesn't I work at all. You took care of it. That that should work. Mm. That doesn't work at all. I gotta tell Ty ten times to get him to do anything at least. Mm. Uh, try having two of them. No. Nope. Uh, Stuart Bagley has to say. Between Chibi not being able to confirm any of the dozen wrestlers listed by, li- oh, listed to the, vomit listed. Oh, okay. Then there's another sentence. To the image of Mark Henry getting his money worth at the Old Country Buffet, chef's kiss to the WWE segment. There, a lot of people enjoyed that segment. We did a good job. Good job done by all. So, you know, congratulations. We're exhausted nice. on that content. I'm still playing the game. <laughs> oh, good. The good thing about that game, and I guess like maybe more good thing about the Xbox one series X is that the quick resume keeps all that shit just like ready to go like on pause. So I could literally have that thing up and, and, and be in a match in two seconds. If I just had paused it before, which I, I do. So here's my question for you about that game. Yeah. Cause you have the, the super duper version, which has like extra wrestlers in it. Right? I would never, ever in a zillion billion years, spend $120 I, I, on I a understand video game. That. I just want to let people know that. Like, okay. it's I, a I review understand thing. that. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's not the question. The okay. question is, can't you just use the creator wrestler to make the wrestlers that are in the extra content? Could I personally make them? No, no. but like, so, with some, would but I hope so, that somebody else makes them? Is there a large library of wrestlers to download from? Yes, there is. So, like, why would I buy, say, I don't know, Rowdy Roddy Piper if someone can just make a Rowdy Roddy Piper that I could download from them for free? It's probably not going to be as good as the one that you would pay for. But it's, but it's like good enough. It depends how much you need Rowdy Roddy Piper. I'm just saying, but that's like a plausible thing. No, you're supposed to say Rowdy Rowdy Piper again. Oh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Absolutely. They Recently, they've, I think they've removed some of those wrestlers, though, that people have been creating that are, that are locked away behind uh, a paywall. So maybe not. <laughs> In theory, so if yes. Want, if I want a double J Jeff Jarrett, I got to pony up the, the cash. Uh. I don't know. To answer your question, there's a lot, you know, yes, maybe, but I don't know. If, what they, if you went with Roddy Rowdy Piper? Could you can you find him on there? He's in the game. Roddy Rowdy Rod like he comes Roddy, with the game, Rowdy I think. Piper? Is that what yeah, you're Roddy called? Rowdy Piper? He's Roddy Rowdy Piper. I think Got he it. comes with the game. I don't know. What about what about Root and Tootin' Booper? Would that, would not, that... <laughs> you could make him though. You could make him. Okay, just making sure. Oh, by the way, Ping Pong won the uh belt, the NXT belt. North American I'm, Championship. I'm glad for him and his countrymen. Because if you get the $120 Super Edition, you he's from America. What do you What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> um, if that, you have get the made, that's me. If that's you get great. the $120 Super Duper Edition, it gives you extra points to boost up your created guy in that mode. So I think that's how I got to be champion so quickly. Because I noticed I had a lot of points to. Uh, to jack my guy up in the beginning. Seemed a little unnatural. Anyway, what else we got here? Are we done with the show feedback? I think so. Can everyone see my new Batman behind me, by the way? New Batman on the shelf. Do you think anybody recognizes that it wasn't already there before? I don't know. That's what I'm pointing it out. New there's Batman. a lot of things there. It's Flashpoint Batman. And also oh, it's, it's Bat. It's also Batman, and it's hard. Oh, to, that's you the know. one where he wears the, the garter belt. And the that's guns. Garter belt, garter belt and guns. Yeah, that's garter right. belt guns. Yeah. It's a Target exclusive. How big is it? Uh, it's six inches. He's just standing on a pedestal. 
You put Batman on a pedestal? I put Batman on a pedestal. I got it at the buy two, get one free Batman figure sale that's going on at Target. <laughs> is that a real thing? That is 100% a real thing. Good, and I'm glad you could take advantage of it. If anybody should be taking advantage of that, it, I guess it wait, should wait. be. A... I only see one Batman, though. Well, let me tell you, it's good on pre-orders. So I got two pre-order figures and this one, which is the exclusive figure. There. So like in a couple of months, a box is going to show up and it's going to be like surprise Batman. And I'm going to be very happy when surprise Batman shows up. Right? Isn't that the right way to do it? That's a nice story. But the actual answer is he's got two figures up his ass right now. No, I'm saying because oh. who needs three Batman at once? A couple of months from now, a Batman's going to show up and I'm going to be like, holy crap, it's a Batman. So these three. are the, are these like the Marvel Legends equivalent? Yeah, these are the McFarlane. So these are like $20 yeah. figures. So I spent $13 each, I guess, is what it comes out to be. Got it. What yeah. What are your other, or is it a surprise what your other Batman are going to yeah, be? Yes, so I'll switch them out. Well, it'll be fun. People could take guesses. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And Slap Silly in the chat says criminals hate surprise Batman. And that is true. All right. 